forgot your hat. Thank you. Aww. Hannah, clear the rest of the dishes. Just in time for the holidays, what are those feel-good Christmas movies? A California Christmas now available on Netflix. The writer and star of the show, Lauren Swickard, is joining me now to talk all about it. Hello. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations on getting a Christmas movie not only written and sold, but also the production happened in the middle of a quarantine. How in the world did you do that? It was crazy. I like to call our crew Hollywood's guinea pig because we were actually one of the first productions to start in the pandemic and wrap. Um, and we learned a lot. You know, everyone was masked up those face guards, our hair and makeup team were basically wearing trash bags the whole time. Uh, we were very safe. Uh, SAG-AFTRA, our union, worked with us so well and came up with an amazing plan. And we didn't have any positive cases the whole time and we were there for 34 days. Isn't that amazing? All right, well, first of all, congratulations on that. I mean, a feat in and of itself, as we know most of Hollywood shut down for all of this, except for you guys, apparently. So good job on that. Now, my next question is, tell me about this story because, you know, around the holidays, everybody just kind of needs some of that comfort comfort movies, comfort food, all of that. And I imagine this story is that, especially for you. Oh, absolutely. And when, when the pandemic started, there was a trend on social media. Everyone was taking the time to, you know, do something with, with their lives, whether it be organize their closet, start a new project. So that's actually how the, the idea for the movie came about was I wanted to create content during the pandemic if I could to be released after the pandemic in the holiday season so that people could really have something to look forward to. And nobody wants to see drama or horror after this time. So I thought a Christmas movie was perfect. And it, it is, it's all of what you said. It's, it's cheesy in the best way. It's a love story surrounded around uh, wine and Christmas time. So you're all, you're, hey, wait a minute. Let me just stop you right there. You're like singing my tune. A cheesy Christmas movie surrounded by wine with hotties in it. Like, I, what, like what is better than that? I know. It's, it's magical. And I'll never forget the first time, because this was the first time that I was wearing a producer hat, an actress hat, and a writer hat. So it was, it was very surreal. And I'll never forget the first time walking onto the set they had to build a fake winery on this beautiful, gorgeous hill. And, you know, I had just been at home doing nothing but being afraid of COVID-19 and just walking onto the set and seeing this beautiful winery. And it was a story that I created. It was amazing. Um, but it, it's a classic Save the Ranch story. And I, it's surrounded by Christmas time. Yeah. Uh, it's about a girl. My character's name is Callie and my mom. And my mom actually has lung cancer. So she left this beautiful land to me. And month by month, it's really hard to make payments. And we're so close to foreclosure every month. So a big city company, a big shipping facility company in San Francisco sees our land, almost hit that foreclosure point, and they want it really bad. So they send their protege, you know, big city company boy, down to my ranch to try and buy the land. And this is Josh, who is also my husband. He plays the character of Joseph Van Asten. And he comes to try and buy my land and he doesn't know that I'm the type of girl that won't have that at all. So he, uh, I actually mistake him for a ranch hand when he gets to the land. And so in that moment, he decides to take on the identity of a ranch hand. And in just, and in every, just cheesy holiday movie galore. You fall in love and it all lovely works out in the end. And you yes. mentioned your husband, which I want to point out to people who love General Hospital will also know your husband. Yes. And, the and the lovely part of this is you guys also met on a set. Yes, we met on a set. It, it's a movie called Roped. It's on Netflix right now. Um, and we filmed it almost four years ago. Wow. And we filmed it in Petaluma, where A California Christmas was filmed. And so it's like just this lovely circle of life and love. And it's so sweet. I, um, 
uh, lastly, and a serious question, <clears throat> you know, mm. as an actress, that's one thing. As an actor, you know, that's one facet. But I'm very curious of how it is that you have become so successful in writing and producing and accomplishing the sale of those things that you, the stories that you create, because I mean, there's a lot of actors out there who write and can never sell anything. So what is it that gets you across the finish line repeatedly? So there's a term, you know, in every business world and it's, who do you know? And it's very true. So I've been so blessed to work with amazing producers that I've, you know, I've been an actress in their movies. And I actually went to school for writing at the, uh, the Ohio University Script School of Journalism. And I've, I always knew that I wanted writing to be part of my life in some way. I didn't know what way until I, you know, started reading scripts and thought, oh my gosh, I can do this. So when I decided to do writing, I made it part of my life every day, whether it's, you know, I would write a paragraph of a, of an idea, synopsis of a movie, or I would write a scene or I would write an opening to a new script. I just make sure to do it every day because it is a muscle, just like acting. That's why every actress I was getting in, get into a class. It's, these, these crafts are muscles and the more you do it, the better you get. So I have compiled almost 15 screenplays in the last, you know, three or four years. And, you know, I, I send my screenplays to producers that I've worked with before. And one of them happens to be Ali Afshar of ESX Entertainment, who did Rote. And um, I sent him so many of my scripts. He really, he really, really has liked a few of them. And I, I sent him to California Christmas and he said, we're doing this and we're doing this right now. <laughs> well, it is a great, it's a fun Christmas movie, holiday movie, gets you in the spirit, just kind of transports you out of, you know, the current situation of our world. So yes. Lynn, thank you, thank you, thank you. And congratulations on yet another successful film. You can watch it on Netflix. Thank you. 